is the home underdog, the right side in this Big East battle between Georgetown and Syracuse. <laughs> Tony T here from Gamblers Television, where we cover sports from a point spread perspective. That's right, point spread talk has returned to TV, so be sure and tell all your friends about our show because we know you guys like to get down on college basketball, and we have you covered right here on Tony T Sports Bets on GamblersTelevision.com. Our TV show page at www.GamblersTelevision.com is updated once, sometimes even twice a day with point spread coverage from the major sports and betting tips from college basketball, so make sure you check it out daily. All right, now it's time for a coverage from the Big East. It's Georgetown at Syracuse. Syracuse, a three-point home underdog, 12 o'clock Eastern time. ESPN will televise. And look, Syracuse really couldn't overcome the hot shooting night of South Florida in the last game and dropped an 11-point decision on the road. South Florida hit on 57% from the field and just under 47% from three against the Orange. Syracuse dropped the game in conference to a team with a 10-game losing streak and fell to 6-6 six and six in conference play. The line here on Syracuse is they beat the lower-tier Big East competitors and fail against the upper echelon teams from conference. A troubling stat for Syracuse followers is the fact they've already dropped four decisions on their home court. Georgetown, they sit in first place in conference at 10-2 and, and squeaked out a two-point win as a huge favorite at home against Villanova, despite only giving up 24% shooting and 3 out of 23 from the three-point line against the young Wildcats. The Hoyas lost a rebounding battle. They lost a turnover margin and went six minutes in the second half without a field goal, which made it a one-possession game down the stretch. This Syracuse team lacks experience as four of the team's starters are playing their first full season of Division I college basketball. Syracuse hasn't beaten a ranked team in nearly a year, and they won't do it against a solid Georgetown team who plays the best defense in the nation. Senator Roy Hibbert and forward Jajon Summers will control the boards for the Hoyas, and the Hoya guards will dish inside, and that will make for easy baskets for this experienced squad who went to the Final Four last season. Take Georgetown behind their big men and experience minus three in this one. Once again, take Georgetown minus three. Be sure to visit and bookmark my TV show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous points rate coverage from the NBA and college basketball. Gamblers Television, get addicted.